I downloaded these two programs, uh, Rufus 3.8 and the Linux Lite 4.6 64-bit. Now, before you download the Linux Lite program, make sure that your uh, computer can go to 64-bit. If it can't, you'll have to get an older version of Linux Lite that has 32. The reason I went to the Rufus, because I tried to install the Linux Lite, this one here, on the universal USB installer, but it would not boot, so I changed it to Rufus. Okay, I'm gonna <clears throat> install it on the U I'm gonna install the Linux Lite on the Rufus. It'll open up uh, the USB 8 gigs. Make sure that you have nothing on the on your USB stick because it will erase everything. And I'm going to select my Linux light and open it up. And in here, it's just automatically selected everything that needs to be. You don't have to touch it here. And we're going to start it. Then you have to push yes. And you push write an ISO image recommended. Yes. See, and then it gives you another warning. <clears throat> All data on the device USB will be destroyed to continue push OK. <clears throat> the uh, Linux Lite I download on Windows 10 but you can use any uh, Windows operating system uh, XP uh, all the way up through to Windows 10 any one in between. And I'm just going to wait for this to finish. Okay, it says ready to go. So we can just uh, close this, restart the computer. And I've already selected the USB to be my first priority on the boot. But if yours isn't, you just push F12 on your keyboard and change it to boot off the USB. And you want to start Linux Lite, just push enter. And it'll take, oh, probably about a minute to come back up. See, it's working right here. Okay, that's the welcome screen for the Linux Lite. Now right here, it's just running off the uh, USB drive. You have not installed it yet on the uh, on on your hard drive. Yeah. Just searching my own page here. Not to get any copyright infringements. There I am. <clears throat> it does produce a nice screen though. Change it to 720. Go full screen. Okay, I'm only on thigh this little package here. Because if I start on thigh, if I see that's working really good off the USB. 
And there's, there's quite a bit of stuff in here to learn. Accessories, uh, settings, uh, firewall configuration. I believe that is already on. Yes, that is on. Which is good. So, uh, through the uh, incoming denial, going allow. That's good to know. Welcome. Screen. Install updates. Oh, it's got a light theme or a dark, or a dark theme. Try the dark theme. See if that'll go. Hi, right. upgrade. Light softer. Chromium web browser. Yes. I know anything that I install here will just uh, delete itself once I unplug the uh, USB. It'll just go back to what's on the uh, on the USB stick. Install. Yes. Okay. Okay. Let's see if it's in here. Chromium web browser. What I'm going to do is I'm going to install it on a <clears throat> a spare hard drive. Because on this machine I have Windows 10 and I do not want to delete Windows 10 and I don't want to dual boot uh, Linux Lite to 10. So I'm going to change the hard drive off. <clears throat> 